I have been trying to think of ideas for ways to kind of help out anyone that watches my videos during the crazy scary times that are happening right now. Since one thing that I am very passionate about is fitness, I thought that I could touch on a few ways that I've found to kind of motivate myself from home. So to try and stay fit and healthy while I'm at home. Um, you can't go to a gym, you can't really go out that much, you can't really go and see your friends. And because of all of those compounding factors, it can be very, very stressful for people in this kind of situation. I just wanted to present a few solutions if you are kind of struggling a little bit right now if what, um, with what's going on and with trying to maintain a healthy, healthy lifestyle while it's happening. I first wanted to start off by just saying, going off on a tiny little bit of a tangent and saying you need to make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on yourself, on yourself to maintain a physically healthy lifestyle right now. Um, yes, it is important to maintain physical activity and it is gonna help with your mood and just your overall health and, and mindset throughout this whole thing. But I just wanna make sure that no one is putting pressure on themselves um, and making themselves feel bad, having any negative self thoughts just because they're unable to go to the gym or just because um, they can't go to the grocery store as often and stock up on fresh groceries. I just think it's important to put that out there first and foremost, that this is a very unprecedented time. For most people watching this, this has never happened to you before and it's a lot to go through. Um, so just go easy on yourself and I, hopefully we'll be able to give you some ideas on how to maintain your physical health as well as your mental health while we are going through this. First of all, wanted to start with reminding you to not underestimate just how important physical health is. So I know that sounds kind of contradictory considering I just said to go easy on yourself when it comes to it. But just because you can't go to the gym and lift heavy weights or go to your regular kickboxing class or something doesn't mean that physical activity should just go out the window. Um, I think it's very, very important to still do at least the bare minimum. So stuff like getting up and stretching in the morning, doing some yoga, a mobility routine, going for a walk around the block, um, if you're still able to do that. And if you are, you should take advantage of that while you still can. Um, I'm not saying that you won't be able to, but just in case that becomes a reality. So there are literally science has linked aerobic activity with an improvement of mood, lowering your stress levels, lowering your anxiety, just overall boosting your mood, which is something that we could all use right now. Um, so that's, I don't know all the science behind it, but that's specifically for aerobic exercises. So like cardio, I know you probably don't want to do cardio, but um, even just like going outside and skipping for 20 minutes, it literally takes minimum about 15 minutes to actually get some benefits. So just go outside, do some jump rope, power walk around the block a couple times, go for a short run, just do something to get your heart rate up. Because at the end of the day, maybe while you're going through this stressful time, that stress causes you to lose some muscle or gain some weight or just causes your body to change in a way that you're maybe not super happy with. But at the end of the day, as long as you are doing things that combat poor mental health I think that in order to get through this and to get through it stronger than you were before um, that's what's most important is to make sure that you are still focusing on activities that will help with that so you guys already know that you should be doing some sort of physical activity to help with your mood and your overall health in general so I also wanted to provide you with some resources to actually get there just to make it even easier. <laughs> so given the circumstances, a lot of people who um, provide fitness programs, fitness apps, that kind of thing, um, are providing them at either a discounted price or for free right now because they know that a lot of people are going to be working out from home. So I wanted to list a few of those and give you guys access to them. Um, these specifically are ones that I have tried. I enjoy using them. Um, I and I think that they have a very good foundation. They're not focused on just losing weight or just building muscle. They're generally more functional training 
kind of programs. So one of them is from Niall Wilson. He is an Olympic gymnast. He also has a YouTube channel. Um, so he currently has an ebook, uh, an online program on his website that he is allowing people to download for free. Um, so you can check that out. Um, he also has a mobility routine, which is great. It's good for flexibility and mobility. Those are both online on his website. I will link all of these resources that I mentioned. The Nike Training Club, um, which is, it's an app from Nike, basically has a whole bunch of workouts that you can do at home with little to no equipment. Um, I've done a few of them already. I really, really like them. And currently um, the app is free. So I will also leave a link to that down below if you wanted to check it out. Um, if you're looking for some good functional body weight home workout resources, those are absolutely great. I've used all of them. If you are looking for something a little bit different or something more catered to to you specifically. You can always make your own program, which I know sounds a little bit scary, but I will also provide some resources for that. So there is a website and it basically has an entire list, a massive list of tons of body weight exercises and how to do them. So I will link that down below. I'll also try and leave some resources for building an actual program. So generally like what I do is I'll do 10 to 15 sets of something and then you can split that up depending on what exercises you want to do. So that can be like five sets of this, five sets of this, and five sets of this exercise. <laughs> and you can kind of split those 10 to 15 sets up accordingly. Um, and then I normally add some sort of cardio and cool down slash warm up stretching. Um, so that's really simply how I set them up, but I will try and leave some more in-depth resources if you guys have the time and if that's something that you're interested in. And I also just wanted to leave you off with um, a tip, which hopefully now that I have provided you with some resources, um, some options, and hopefully motivated you a little bit, um, I wanted to give you some goals to start with. So that's one thing that has been helping me a lot is that I've set some new goals. Um, it's great because you're so restricted with what you can do as far as fitness goes right now that you can really kind of be creative and come up with some new goals that you haven't had before. A few of mine, um, I already have my splits, but I want to get better splits, maybe a little bit of over splits, and also my um, like box split. I would also like to learn to do a handstand, which can totally be done just from at home bodyweight workouts. Um, and also Niall Wilson, the gymnast that I mentioned, has a very good program for getting handstands. You can also set a goal to improve your cardiovascular health, which is literally as I mentioned, mood boosting. It's been proven to increase your mood and to combat poor mental health. Um, so I'm gonna be working on my running, um, maybe some different cardio, we'll kind of see what happens. And I just wanna do 10 push-ups every single day until I can do more because I am so terrible at push-ups. It is, it is so sad. <laughs> Those are a few things that are really easy to work on. They're small goals or they sound small, but a lot of the time when everyone is so focused on going to the gym and lifting heavy weights and just putting all their time and effort into getting an hourglass figure and a big butt, it's easy to forget that functional training, I personally think is probably the most important kind of training and it's going to increase your overall health. So um, it's easy to kind of neglect those things when you have access to a fancy gym and heavy weights all the time. It's a good time now, I think, to try and focus on those things and do what you can, set some new goals, just become a badass human while also de-stressing and trying to improve your mental health and stay sane throughout all of this. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, because I don't think I ask for that often, but you should, why not? <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you gained something from it and that I could help you out a little bit. Don't forget to smile, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.